Kurzgesagt has about 25 million subscribers with only 300 videos and makes $200,000 per month from ad revenue alone. They are mad about AI because now anyone can make videos like this. There's a strange truth about life on Earth. Everything we've ever known, every tree, every animal, every human, is built from a few basic ingredients arranged in endlessly creative ways. At the smallest scale, we're made of atoms. But atoms don't think. They don't feel. Yet somehow, when enough of them come together, they become us. It's as if the universe found a way to look back at itself. We are the universe, conscious for a brief moment, trying to understand why it exists at all. And maybe that's the most extraordinary story in the cosmos, that tiny pockets of dust learn to wonder. In this video, we'll share the step-by-step -step process to make 2D animated shows like Kurzgesagt in a nutshell, even if you have zero animation experience. The first step is probably the most challenging part of the process. You have to come up with a topic and a storyline that makes people want to watch. By the way, for now, just focus on the process. I'll share a detailed breakdown of both free and premium tools at the end of the video. This video isn't specifically about copying Kurzgesagt. It's meant to demonstrate a workflow you can use to draw inspiration from any YouTube channel and create your own videos. Kurzgesagt typically makes videos about big, complex ideas and tries to explain them clearly and engagingly. Science and biology, space, cosmology, and they try to make it related to trending events. So we want to do something similar. Kurzgesagt is extremely well known, so even the regular ChatGPT can suggest similar topics and storylines. Out of these suggestions, the problem with immortality sounds the most intriguing. Now we need to first do some research and then condense that research into a storyline for the video. I use ChatGPT deep research and provide very little context, just the video title itself. It asks for more details like could you clarify what kind of information you're looking for about the problem with immortality? For example, are you interested in philosophical arguments, biological limitations, societal consequences, or representations in media or fiction? And I say all of it. My plan is to research everything in depth so I have maximum flexibility when shaping the storyline. Once I have the full research back, I'll request a complete script in the Kurzgesagte style. I go back and forth until I'm fully satisfied with the script. This next prompt is crucial. I'll ask for a scene-by-scene -scene description of still images based on the script. It's important to clearly specify that these are image descriptions, not animated scenes. This helps the AI generate the optimal number of visuals and significantly reduces cleanup work later when creating the final images. Now that brings us to the second step, visuals. To generate the visuals, you'll need an image generator. Personally, I use the ChatGPT image, which is available by default in ChatGPT. However, we can't just start generating the prompts that ChatGPT gave us earlier. We need a specific 2D animation style and no image generator will produce that look out of the box. After a lot of experimentation, I discovered an excellent solution that works for any art style. I start a new session with ChatGPT or any other multimodal AI model out there. Then I attach six examples of the art style that I'm looking for. Here is the prompt that I used for Kurzgesagt. Now let's put it to the test. Generate an image of a jungle filled with strange creatures. As you can see, the style matches exactly what we wanted. From here, we can take the scene descriptions we created earlier and input them one by one to generate each scene. Along the way, you'll likely run into a few common issues. So let's go over those right now. First, even if you've clearly described the style and attached multiple reference samples, the model can sometimes ignore your preferences and produce something completely off. To fix this, you should provide as few stylistic or formatting details as possible in your prompts. Any new stylistic direction can override your original setup. In this case, the simpler the prompt, the better. Second, after a few generations, the model tends to drift away from the original style and gradually revert to its default look. To fix this, you can either go back and branch out from an earlier point in the session or simply download the image and edit the prompt to start a new generation. It's usually better to branch out or restart rather than going too deep within a single session. 
Third, if you need to include a specific character in a scene like this one, don't ask the model to generate the entire composition all at once. Instead, create the base scene first, then use either the built-in ChatGPT image editing feature or a tool like Nano Banana to add the character afterward. This method gives you much more control over quality and detail. Sure, it takes a bit more time, but compared to the effort it takes a professional 2D animation studio to include this level of detail, it's practically nothing. Now that we've generated all our scenes, it's time to animate them using image to video models. I'll share a detailed guide on choosing the right tools at the end. But for now, let's focus on the workflow and prompting process, since that's where the biggest difference in results comes from. Here's an example, a 2D animation of the earth slowly rotating while a cartoon duck stands in the foreground, looking at it and waving. The camera remains static throughout the shot. The overall style should match a clean, flat 2D animation look. We keep a static camera and include the 2D animation look in almost every prompt. This ensures consistency across all shots and helps the AI maintain the same visual style throughout the video. And now, with all of our shots ready, we move to the next stage, narration. There are a lot of different text-to-voice models out there, but the one that is the most powerful and accurate is Eleven Labs. Head over there and sign up for a free account, click on the voices, and find one that you think fits the style of your video. Most channels like this use a deep voice with a British accent, but you can choose whatever you prefer. Audiences generally don't care about the accent, as long as the voice is clean and clear, which is true for all the voices available here. If none of the available voices sound the way you want, you can also explore voice cloning options. Keep in mind that cloning a voice requires a premium account, and the system may ask for voice verification to ensure the voice being cloned belongs to you. This means you can't use someone else's voice without permission, although there are workarounds that I can't share. Now all you need to do is go back to ChatGPT, copy the script and paste it into the text box in 11 labs, then click generate. You can use commas, capital letters and exclamation marks to adjust tone and emotion. Each time you click generate, you'll get a slightly different version and you can find all your generations in the history panel right here. Just click the download button next to the one you like best. Now that we have all the visuals and narration, the final step is to assemble everything in an editing program like Premiere Pro. Import your voiceovers and visuals, then line them up on the timeline like this. To enhance the overall quality, you can add sound effects, background music, and a few smooth transitions to tie everything together. Now let's move on to the tools guide. I've put together three levels of recommendations based on different budget ranges. Naturally, the more you spend, the higher the potential quality, but there are a few trade-offs to consider at each level. First, the free path. For idea generation and research, you can still use ChatGPT, and if you run out of free GPT-5 credits, you can use Grok4, which is on par and sometimes even slightly better. For image generation, you'll get a limited number of generations on ChatGPT, and it is the best image generator for this purpose. But if you run out of credits, you can use Nano Banana through Google AI Studio. There are other free image generators like Adobe Firefly, but we are specifically using multimodal AI models because they are the best at understanding and replicating different styles. Video generation is the most challenging part of the free path, since most video generators are quite expensive. But don't worry, there are still some solid options. You can use Veo models for a limited number of generations through Google Flow and Google AI Studio Media Generation. They each have separate limits, so you can use both in parallel. If that's still not enough, you can try Vair.com, which offers unlimited video generation, though at a lower quality. A good strategy is to use your Veo credits for detailed scenes, especially those with text and Veer for simpler shots like this one. And finally, for narration, Eleven Labs has a pretty generous credit limit for free accounts. But if that's not enough, you can use DeepGram for more free generations. But you won't have as much diversity of voices as Eleven Labs. The middle path is the option with minimal spending. All you need is a ChatGPT Plus subscription. With that, you'll get access to powerful research and idea generation tools, the best image generator, and Sora for video generation. Although the exact number of Sora generations isn't officially stated, the general understanding is that you get around 50 generations per month. And finally, the professional path. 
which I recommend for channels that are in the scaling phase. If you've moved past experimentation and want to consistently produce high quality videos while keeping costs efficient, this setup is ideal. You'll need ChatGPT Plus for all the research, writing, and image generation tools we discussed earlier. One.video for AI video generation. It currently offers the best value for the price since Sora is limited and Veo is both restricted in the app and extremely expensive through API and an 11 Labs premium account for professional voice cloning and unlimited speech generation. Altogether, this forms a super solid backbone, essentially giving you a full production studio for around $60 per month with a lot of generations and the ability to buy credits for more. Here is the animation we made together. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. See you in the next one. There's a strange truth about life on Earth. Everything we've ever known, every tree, every animal, every human, is built from a few basic ingredients arranged in endlessly creative ways. At the smallest scale, we're made of atoms. But atoms don't think. They don't feel. Yet somehow, when enough of them come together, they become us. It's as if the universe found a way to look back at itself. We are the universe conscious for a brief moment, trying to understand why it exists at all. And maybe that's the most extraordinary story in the cosmos, that tiny pockets of dust learn to wonder.